When you play American style Mahjong, do you ever second guess yourself through the Charleston? I do every now and again. Let's be real. One thing I like to do is test my instincts. I do an exercise that I call Charleston Chain Reaction. I play out a hand and the Charleston, and then I do it again with the same tiles and a different approach. If you have a set at home, give this exercise a try. And let me know what you think about it. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're just going to say we're the dealer for this exercise. So I'll take 14 random tiles. Then I will gather a nice big block of tiles, pull out the jokers and create a mock Charleston. I'm going to take a photo because we got to rebuild this. I'm thinking a 2468 hand. You don't have to pick a hand till you run out of discards. So I'm just going to gather every 2468. I'm not going to worry about what they are, whether it's a 2468 suit, I don't care. Just I'm just going to gather, 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 and we're going to discard right here there's a two and a six. Oh, you know what we need to take a photo I almost forgot so two six keep it here we have oh and the eight okay so here we have a five seven now you pick a hand because we ran out of discards we need three so let's look and see what we have we have a two four eight, four, six, two, six, eight. Let's see, two, four, four, six. Let's see, two, two. We need a good tile to pass. We really only need one. I think I'll pass the six. Because if I picked a two, six or eight here, we would be sending all cracks. I don't want to do that. Let's pass these three. If that was a mistake, we can recover from one tile. I'm gonna take a photo of that. We got a flower and a four. One tile to pass. We need to pick a hand or whittle down. I'm thinking two, four, six, eight. Let's see here, we have two, four, we could even play something consecutive. Okay, we have a two, two, four, eight, two, four, six, eight, two, four, eight, fours. Kind of what I'm thinking here is the two, four, six, eight pair hand. We've got the fours here. Let's go ahead and give up the two, eight. It's a little bit risky but I think it'll be worth it, especially for playing a pair hand. Let's take a photo. We got a two and we have tiles we can pass. Take a photo. We got a four. Gather, gather. We have two to pass. This is up, this is cross. It's obligatory. So we have to give something up. Two, four, six, eight, and fours. Oh, let's see, which should we give up? I think I would give up the four because I wouldn't want to give up a four dot. That would be all dots and a three, four. 
if we give up the four band, we still have fours represented. Also, we could fall back on the first two, four, six, eight hand with flowers using the joker. Take a photo. And we can pass these. Take a photo. We got a six. We can pass, but look, I'm not going to pass like numbers. We have two flowers, two, four, six, eight, and fours. We could give up on the pair hand. If we did, we could play the first two, four, six, eight hand, pung the flowers, pair, pair, pung the six. All we need is an eight in order to kong the eight. I still like the idea of playing a pair hand though. Let's just ask for one, one tile. Don't expect anybody to pass to you with one tile. I usually decline. I want to see if we can get that four back though. Oh, so close. Okay, two discards, really four. I think I would probably go ahead and play the first one. So we got four away from a two, four, six, eight. Let's see if there was another option. That's what we started with right there. I'm thinking something consecutive, two, three, four, five. Okay, I figured it out. Now, I'm thinking two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. We don't have to pick a hand till we run out of discards. So let's discard these three right here, one of each suit. Here's a two, two, three, four, five. I would not pass that. No way would I pass that. Let's see, two, four, four, five, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, five. I would not pass that either. Let's see, four, five, two, three, four, consecutive, four, five, eight. Let's pass these three. Two, three, four. This would be the fifth hand down, mixed suit. The only reason I picked a hand is to pass defensively. Here we have a flower, and now we have a four, five, six, seven, nine. I would not pass that. So we have two, three, four, five, two, still two, three, four, or three, four, three, four, three, four. Two, seven, nine would not be too bad. Two, <laughs> two, three, four, two, three, four. Let's pass these three. 
three, four, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, fours, maybe like numbers, maybe three, four, three, four. We have tiles we can pass right there. Two, three, four, five, three, four, three, four, two, three. We have to give something up. Let's see if we can use these flowers. If we use the flowers, the two, three, four, five would not be good. Let's give up the three. Three, four, five. I don't think these are going to help. Four, four, wrong dragon for like numbers with dragons. Let's pass these three. Five, five, another multiple. Anytime you get a new multiple, reassess. So here's four, five, six, four, five, six, or four, five, four, five, four, five, four, five, three, four, five with joker bait. I think I would give up the sixth crack. We have four, five multiples. Let's go ahead and break up the two. I'm thinking three, four, five, one suit, or we could do, let's see, four, five, four, five, and get rid of the three. Let's pass these three. Oh, look what we got, a five bam. And we have four discards. So this would be the concealed pung hand under consecutive run pair. This would be a pung. Maybe use this here to help that get to a pung, pung, pung. No gaps, four discards, which is exactly what we left with on the other hand. Either way, we would have had similar results. This would be a higher point hand. I'm trying to remember what hand it was. Oh, we were between a pair hand or the 2468 first hand, which was a 25 point hand. So either one would have been viable. Either one. Don't you think it's interesting that you can use the same tiles and come out with a completely different result? If you just focus on your decision making along the way, you can really make anything work if you make the right decisions at the right time. Give this exercise a try and let me know how it goes for you. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to maybe learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Charleston chain reaction for American style Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.